Welcome to our channel. We continue to cycle monthly messages with the message for June 1, 2007, for direction for our Times prayer groups and personal reflection. Let us first pray, in the name of the Father, the Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us start with allegiance prayer. Dear God in heaven, I pledge my allegiance to you. I give you my life, my work, and my heart. In turn, give me the grace of obeying your every direction to the fullest possible extent. Amen. Next, let us say the morning offering. O oh Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you the prayers, works, joys and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, in reparation for my sins, and for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Here's a message from Jesus on June 1, 2007. Heavenly consideration is the compass which ensures a true course for each apostle. In every situation, consider heaven's goals for you and for those around you. The apostle who gives thoughtful consideration to heaven's goals will be known for speaking less, rather than more. This apostle will make decisions in my company, always aware of my goals. I would ask each apostle to practice this today. Move into your day gently, aware that I may wish to adjust your course several times. You expect one thing, perhaps. But I, Jesus, may need something else from you. You are committed to a certain plan, perhaps. But I, Jesus, may have chosen a different plan altogether. Only with thoughtful consideration will you be alert to my will in each situation. Apostles, you have been prepared to serve in the manner that I require you to serve. You have been taught many things about holiness. If you are humble, you are aware that there are many things still to be learned about holiness. If you are humble, you may protest, saying Jesus, I am not ready. I must become holier still. I understand your weaknesses and struggle. I do not fear the limits of your humanity. I have factored your weaknesses into the plan I have for you. You should never be afraid that you lack the holiness to complete the mission I have willed for you. I will make you holy if you proceed according to my directions. You shall have all you need. Please begin to use all that you have been taught. Begin to see others as I see others, in need of love and tolerance. You have been taught not to make judgments. Do not make judgments. You have been taught to spend time in silence. Spend time in silence. You have been taught to trust me. Trust in me now, today. You have been taught not to be afraid of the future. Do not fear the future. Dear Apostles, you have been taught to pray. Pray, now, today, every day. Pray, ask me for mercy for this world. Ask me for conversion graces for this world. Ask me for the spirit of truth in such an abundance that all eyes will be open to God's truth. My beloved faithful apostles, I want you to use everything you have been given to serve me so that others may be saved. I am with you. I will direct you in each moment. You must be at peace so that others can learn about peace. You must be calm so that others can learn about calm. Do not underestimate the power of setting an example of heavenly consideration. It is this consideration in each apostle that will ultimately allow me to reclaim a multitude of souls for the Father. End of message. Thank you for watching. Please return for more videos like this.